Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedy, back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, we're going to be talking about the contents of the global data download that we all got this morning. And essentially, it was what you see on the screen right now. So the next Dokkan Fest on Global is officially confirmed to be the Fizz transforming Piccolo. He's also bringing with him a new AGL Nail, and we are also finally gonna be getting the Prime Battle LR First Form Cell as well. So some pretty exciting stuff, especially the Cell for me because I've been looking forward to this guy for a very long time. As far as the Piccolo goes, uh, he is a very, very good unit, but I would say it's most likely gonna be a skip for me. You know what? I'm not gonna skip it. I'll probably do like one video, like 200 to 300 stones and that'll be it, but I think for most people, this probably should be a skip because um, there are just way better things coming up in the future, specifically the STR transforming cooler that are a lot more worth your stones. So I would say probably don't go too crazy on this banner, but that being said, we will be going over his details in a second and talking about his banner too, so you guys can decide for yourselves after you see that, right? So the Piccolo is there, there's also the Nail who is actually a really good non dokkan Fest unit, and uh, we'll also go over the details for the Cell as well. But first things first, before we jump into that, allow me to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Ultra Dokkan Discount. They are the largest online store for stacked accounts for both global and JP. So if you guys are interested in picking up a new account with thousands of stones on it, then check out Ultra Dokkan Discount in my description down below. And for a limited time during the holiday season, my discount code TIGER will get you 20% off your entire purchase. So definitely go check them out guys. And with that out of the way, let's talk about these units starting with the Fizz Piccolo here. He's called Kami and Demon King United Piccolo. He is a dual category leader. He gives units in the Namekians category, key plus 4, HP, attack and defense plus 170%, which is obviously an amazing leader skill. But as you guys may know, the Namekians category is one of probably actually the worst category in the entire game. So as good as that leader skill is, it still doesn't really make the category too viable at the moment. But luckily, he also gives Worthy Rivals category units key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 150%, and his super attack raises defense and causes immense damage to enemies, so he is uh, one of those infinitely stacking for defense units, so of course very good on the infinite Dragon Ball history and also legendary Goku events. His passive is Agonizing Decision, attack and defense plus 100%, recovers 7% HP, when HP is 77% or less, and also foresees enemy super attacks, which is of course super useful on the events I just mentioned, but also for Super Battle Road, where uh, you can strategically place your units to make sure that your best tanks are taking the super attacks. And uh, active skill, so fusion with Kami. Fusion with Kami can be activated when HP is 70% or more with another Namekians category ally on the team, starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle, once only. So overall, as far as conditions for active skills or transformations go, uh, that's one of the easier ones to fulfill. All you have to do is um, have one other Namekians category ally on the team be above 70% HP, which is pretty easy to achieve, and also um, be past the fourth turn, or on or past the fourth turn of the fight. So once you activate that, he will transform into Piccolo Fuse with Kami. His links are Z Fighters, Experienced Fighters, Namekians, Brainiacs, Tracking Speed, Cold Judgment, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Namekians, Worthy Rivals, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and uh, Disciple, and that's it. So that's the Piccolo pre-transformation. And then once you use the active skill and transform, his new super attack is Light Grenade, which greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. His passive is Super Strength, which gives him attack and defense plus 120%, reduces damage received by 40%, chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% to plus 40%, the more HP remaining, the greater the boost, recovers 10% HP whenever HP is 77% or less, and foresees enemy super attack. I believe his links uh, stay the same as before. Let me just check real quick to confirm. 
Uh, I think all the links are the same, and of course the categories are the same. So overall, he's just a very, very solid unit, guys. There's nothing here to get you too excited. I mean, he has a good uh, buff on his passive. He gets uh, more crit chance depending on your HP level. He reduces damage received by 40%, which is a really, really significant um, damage reduction. Uh, he also can still see enemy super attacks, he also heals you by 10% HP, um, so he just does a little bit of everything. He also stuns the enemy if the enemy can be stunned. Um, so yeah, no complaints about this unit, he is really solid, really good, obviously great to add to the collection. But that being said, um, like I said, there's nothing here to get you too excited, you know? So that's the Piccolo right there, let's move on to the Nail now, which is the new non dokkan Fest unit that's coming with this banner. And uh, he is surprisingly strong, guys. So his leader skill is Namekian's category. Key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, plus 150%. Super attack, Mystic Flash, raises attack and defense, and causes supreme damage to enemy. Once again, this is stacked infinitely, so 20% to attack and defense for 99 turns, which means he'll get really tanky and uh, hit quite hard in the long term. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100% and also attack and defense plus 100% and reduces damage received by 10% to 77% the more HP remaining, sorry, the less HP remaining, the greater the reduction. When there is a Piccolo on the team, launches an additional super attack that will become a critical hit when there is a Wicked Bloodline category enemy. So this guy gets up to 200% attack and defense when you have a piccolo on the team and uh, also can get a crazy amount of damage reduction when you're, when you're at low hp and of course if you're facing a wicked bloodline enemy he has a double super uh with a guaranteed crit so um obviously i mean this is a little bit situational this part but having one piccolo on the team is not that difficult to fulfill so 200 percent attack and defense pretty insane infinitely stacking attack and defense um this nail is extremely extremely good guys so that's a nail right there he is going to be on the banner as well with the piccolo and uh, last but not least actually no let's talk about the banner real quick and then we'll get to the lr cell so the banner for piccolo at the time it came out on jp was uh, extremely extremely value valuable i guess or just high value right for your stones but um since then there's been a lot of banners that have come out where these units were featured, right? So the uh, transforming uh, Vegeta has been featured at least I think two times in the last couple of months on Global. So I'm thinking I'm thinking a lot of people probably already have him. Uh, Metal Cooler 2 has come back a couple of times. This guy has definitely come back a couple of times. Uh, Turtles was featured recently too. Um, I mean, basically all these units have been featured recently. So unless they uh, change up the banner quite a bit when it comes to global, uh, it's not nearly as exciting as it used to be. I mean, don't get me wrong, these units are still amazing units. They're still all top tier, but uh, this banner is just not nearly as hype as it was when it first came to JP. So if the banner stays exactly the same as it was on JP, then I think the decision to skip will be uh, even easier, which uh, might be a good thing for a lot of people, right? So that was the banner. And uh, next, we're gonna talk about the first form cell. So of course, he is a prime battle LR, which means that to acquire him, it's gonna be a massive, massive grind. You're gonna have to get 777 medals in addition to farming the dupes for super attack. And uh, in total, it should probably take you about six to seven hours of straight grinding so for people that like grinding then uh, you're gonna be very happy for people that don't like it then it might be a little bit painful but i still think definitely worth it especially considering he will be getting a uh, legendary campaign in the future right so his leader skill is artificial life forms category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 100 percent super attack for the 12 key is life absorption which causes colossal damage and recovers 15% HP and his 18 key will cause mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. His passive hybrid cells attack and defense plus 20,000 key plus one with each super attack performed up to six uh, when key is 18 or more plus an additional attack plus 20,000 and if the target enemy is in attack down status then performs a critical hit. His links are Flea, Messenger from the Future, Big Bad Bosses, Attack of the Clones, Tracking Speed, Shadowing the Limit, and Legendary Power. So Flea 
if you guys didn't know, is one of the worst links in the entire game. Um, it gives you key plus one when HP is 30% or below. I don't really understand why it even exists, but um, yeah, this guy has it. Anyways, lastly, his categories are androids, transformation boost, uh, time travelers, artificial life forms, android slash cell saga, and target Goku. And those are all the details you guys need to know about the upcoming um, you know, first form cell, prime battle first form cell on global, and that is pretty much all you need to know about this data download that we got this morning on global. So overall, I would say I'm most excited for the cell. I do really want the piccolo and also the nail. Um, I would love to run them, but I don't want them enough to spend a ton of stones on the banner. Like I said, for me, it's probably going to be a one, one and done kind of thing. You know, one video, 200 to 300 stones and then I'm out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys plan to do with your stones as far as this banner is concerned. Obviously, uh, the final decision will come down to what the banner looks like, like maybe in order to entice us a little bit more, you know, to tempt us to summon a little bit more, they will be changing up the banner to include some more exciting units. Uh, maybe Namek Goku, I mean, it might be a little bit early to bring him back, but maybe they'll be desperate because I think they know, I think Bandai knows that a lot of people plan to skip this banner. So in order to avoid uh, like making no money at all on this banner, I think they might change it up. We'll have to see. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped for him. Maybe Piccolo is your favorite unit, who knows? And uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And uh, we should be getting some more news soon about potentially something on New Year's, but we'll have to see. Um, until then, you guys are awesome. Um, once again, huge shout out to my uh, sponsor for the video, Ultra Dokkan Discount. Check them out in the description down below. Use my code TIGER for 20% off any purchases you wanna make. And uh, as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.